Welcome everyone to a special Geek This Week presentation. This is first in the series of Hammer Horror Blu-ray reviews. Hammer, whenever did that name is mentioned, when you're thinking of horror and gothic in the late 50s, 60s, and the early 70s, Hammer is what comes to mind. And we're going to look at a lot of Hammer films that have recently, in the past few years, been released on uh, Blu-ray. Uh, in these reviews, we'll look at the Blu-ray itself. I'm not going to talk about the plot of the movie. I'll just mention a little about the stars and show you what the DVD, what the Blu-ray looks like, uh, the disc, the outside case, and the inside case, because sometimes they have flip covers. And we'll talk about the special features in the Blu-ray. And if I own the DVD version, I will show you the DVD version and whether or not it's worth getting the Blu-ray or not. So let's get started. We're going to get started with a classic, and that is being Dracula, Prince of Darkness. This is a second release on Blu-ray. I don't own the first release. And I don't know the manufacturer who did the first release because this is a total different color. This one has been released by Shot Factory um, and it's uh, released under its sub branch Screen Factory. This here is the sl is a slip cover that goes over the, uh, the actual Blu-ray itself. Uh, this is a painted cover. This is not an actual photo. This is a painted cover, believe it or not. So. Uh, this is what the back of the uh, Blu-ray uh, Blu looks like of the slip cover. So, but now let's take it out and look at the actual. You see here, same as the slip cover, and the front is the same as slip cover. So this is the return to Christopher Lee playing Dracula. Uh, he did not return to play the role in Brides of Dracula. And the Dracula, the character Dracula itself, does not appear in Brides of Dracula, even though the title says Brides of Dracula. Um, this is a unique film, as Christopher Lee really has no lines in this film. And there's been a dispute as to whether or not why the Count was rendered mute in this movie. Uh, John Elders, who wrote this movie, uh, Anthony Hines was his, uh, uh, Jonathan, uh, John Elder was a uh, pseudonym for him when he was writing. He basically said that he, uh, he wrote no lines for the Count. He figured the Count won't speak. Uh, he's just a force of nature. Uh, actor Christopher Lee said that when he got the script, he saw the lines that the Count was supposed to say, and he told the producers, you are sadly mistaken if you think I'm going to uh, say these lines. So it takes a grain of salt who you want to believe. Do you want to believe Anthony Hines, a.k.a. John Elder, the writer, or do you want to believe Christopher Lee? Um, but this is a wonderful uh, movie. Uh, it, nevertheless, well shot. It was beautifully shot on the sets of uh, Bray Studios, I believe, is where it was shot. Um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was uh, released in 1967, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this movie was shot back-to-back -back with Rampusen, The Mad Monk. That was a film Christopher Lee really, really wanted to make, and that was one of the requirements he uh, held the producers to to get him to come back and do Dracula, as he really wasn't up to wanting to do the, um, the role. These were shot back-to-back. Uh, it has well uh, cast in this. Uh, Anthony uh, Andrew Kerr uh, plays the monk in this film. Uh, it also stars Barbara Shelley, who was uh, probably considered one of the earliest um, uh, horror uh, glamour stars of uh, the Hammer genre. Uh, also, Susan Farmer uh, plays in this movie. Uh, Barbara Shelley uh, has a nice scene where she lets out this horrific scream, but uh, actually the scream was dubbed and was done by Susan Farmer, not uh, Barbara Shelley herself. Uh, to me, this is one of Barbara Shelley's better performances uh, in the series of Hammer films that she's done. And overall, this is a well-written, well-done movie. With the you know the exception of Christopher Lee not having any lines in this movie, so 
Let's take a look in the inside of the case real quick before we talk about the special features. Okay, you'll see that the, uh, the disc is as exact as the painted cover on the front of the DVD, but this is a slip cover, and this is what I've come to discover with a lot of the Shot Factory releases of Hammer Films, is that you have this slip cover, which is a reversal, which you can see. This is, if I'm not mistaken, was the actual uh, movie poster that was released out uh, when the movie came out. Um, so that's there. And then you can see that it uh, has a different still shot from the film of Barbara Shelley after she's been converted into a vampire and then a couple of other still shots. And of course, it shows, you know, uh, you know, a description of the movie and special features and all the other good stuff. So, um, personally, myself, I prefer the, the painted cover. And uh, I've discovered that the default covers that come with it, I prefer those over the uh, alternate, but a lot of people prefer, you know, they could like the other, so I like to point those out when B. So, this has got two versions of the film on there. It's got a UK version, and it has a US version of the film. Uh, this is a 4K scan of the original film elements. Uh, there are, is new, uh, there's new audio film commentary on here. There's original uh, audio, uh, audio commentary with Christopher Lee, Susan Farmer, Francis Matthews, and Barbara Shelley. Uh, in the uh, 1990, uh, BBC uh, had a uh, Best of British Films series called The World Hammer. Uh, and this was a, uh, would be a theme-based episode that would look at Hammer films that felt it fit a certain theme. And on this disc, you get not one, but you get two episodes from uh, the world of Hammer, and that being Dracula and, uh, well, actually one episode, excuse me, I'm thinking of another DVD set, uh, Blu-ray set, but this has the episode Dracula and the Undead. Also has the documentary making of uh, Dracula, Prince of Darkness, calls uh, Back to Black. It has the theatrical trailer and the still gallery, which has uh, uh, lobby cards, uh, behind the scenes photos, photos from the set, and um, and movie posters so all in all if you're a hammer fan this is a must for your collection if you're a dracula fan this is a must for your collection or if you're a christopher lee fan this is a must for your uh, collection even though he doesn't have no speaking lines in this movie his presence alone makes up for that so this is definitely one you want for your collection now where can you get this okay your best bet is probably going to be ordering it from Shop Factory. It's going to run you about 29 bucks, but it's about what's running anywhere now on websites. Currently, right now, the last time I checked, this is on back order on Deep Discount DVD. Uh, you might be able to find it like at FYE, but you're going to pay 35 bucks for it. So, um, now, I do own Dracula Prince of Darkness on uh, DVD. It was originally released by Anchor Bay and then re-released by Anchor Bay on uh, what was called Double Feature which would include two movies and that one uh, included Dracula, or excuse me, The Satanic Rites of Dracula uh, along with Dracula Prince of Darkness. Uh, I don't own either one of those copies. They're out of print. The only way you're going to find them is on uh, is maybe Amazon, but uh, most likely eBay. And you're going to pay uh, you're probably going to pay more than what you're going to pay for the Blu-ray just to get uh, Dracula: Prince of Darkness. Uh, however, I did find it on DVD uh, at Best Buy one time. Uh, Dracula: Prince of Darkness, uh, The Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires, and Frankenstein: Create a Woman is a uh, Hammer Horror. Uh, the uh, triple feature film set so and I doubt you would find this you might have a little better luck finding this second hand for a more reasonable price if you're just wanting the movie and you don't care about special features or anything but I think the the price of the Blu-ray with the special features alone makes up for the price plus you get the UK version of the film and the US version of the film I'm not sure which version of the film you get here on this DVD so anyway Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Hey, check out all the other great content on the Geek This Week uh, YouTube channel. Um, Pensacon panels from the past uh, uh, five years. 
and uh, you know there's some great panels on there. I just the last one I had just posted was of Alex Kingston, aka Doctor River Song for Doctor Who, and much much more. And we'll catch you next time with another edition of uh, Hammer Horror Films Blu-ray reviews. Thank you.